like I said in my videos. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Cal's World. My name is Kana and welcome to today's mukbang. Today I brought to you some really, really good breakfast. Something I'm excited about. It's uh, one, in my, one of my previous videos I mentioned that one of two dishes is my go-to. And this is actually one of them. A little bit of, uh, of an upgrade. It's pretty much corned beef hash. And obviously you see we have some avocados on here. Three eggs. Delicious. I'm going to show it to you right then. Three eggs, water, and ice. Without further ado, let's dig in. All right, let's see here. Let's try some of this egg out real quick. Enjoy. One of the eggs here. Mm. Mm. Just a quick note, adding avocado to anything gives it a little bit of softness, gives it a little bit of sweetness, is really good. Mm. Just living in Southern California or California, avocado is a staple part of even the, I guess you could call it the California burger. The big thing that makes it a California burger is usually an avocado. Mm. Let's crack this open. perfectly ready. What it does is in the corned beef hash, the corned beef ha the heat of the corned beef hash will cook it. Then it'll all mesh together really well. Mm. Obviously you guys know by now my wife is behind the camera and she's the one that actually cooked this this morning. So shout outs to her. So comment below saying thank you for the great dish. She is a chef, she is the um, baker, she's amazing. Mm. The first place I le learned or figured out about corned beef hash was um, from Food Network on what is it called? Diary Driving and Dives? No. Best thing I ever ate. <laughs> the best thing I ever ate. And it was um, Chef Simon. Chef Simon who did it. And he explained that like cracking an egg, cooking it, mixing it, it takes a little bit of work. Even though it's already cooked and brought to you, it takes a little bit of work. But it's so delicious. It's 
I can't even describe it. You need to definitely go check it out yourself. And the place we went to to get it first time was Kimmy's Coffee Cup. There's a few different locations. Um, there's one in Orange on Chapman. It's in the Circle. And then there's one in Fullerton. And the street, Cross Street, I don't know where that is, but those are two of their locations. And they do one of the best corned beef and hash, but they're only open for breakfast. So keep that in mind. But they do an amazing job and great service. Mm. But nothing beats homemade. Oh, man. So just kind of spin off of two girl one book playing <laughs> on the price of the plate because I actually like that idea and I've always thought of it like that. So just kind of like this put together was pretty much like less than ten dollars for the two orders. The can the can of uh, corned beef was three bucks. Eggs three eggs, another dollar or two. Avocado another. Um, dollar or two so in total would probably be about five bucks for this plate but it was so delicious and if you go out it's at least double or triple the price not to mention you wouldn't get avocado and it wouldn't be as fresh this is amazing mm. um, some of the corned beef dishes out there they don't give you fresh potatoes mm -hmm. and then on top of that you get you don't get the quality because other store other places so there's some places that get corned beef hash in a can already so they're just reheating what's in the can this one is actually fresh potatoes peeled diced out charred a little bit and then cooked with corned beef with avocado on the side and eggs I mean the benefit of cooking at home it takes a little bit of work but you save the labor and it becomes so much better mm. <laughs> mm. There you go. Enjoy. Mm. Avocado is one of those things that are kind of um, underappreciated. I would I would say. I personally didn't really appreciate it until like meeting my wife and her family. They eat avocado a lot, <laughs> and uh, but I never appreciated it before then. But I do now, and it's just a great little add-on. It's awesome. But in the same aspect, I brought something to her. She never appreciated Vietnamese food. When I first met her, all she kept on telling me about Vietnamese food is like, she's allergic to beef. <laughs> so we would never go and she wouldn't, she didn't like it at all. But obviously when you're in that dating phase, you kind of put yourself aside and like kind of go with it or whatever, like go on whatever adventure. And so she kind of just went, okay, I'll go, I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll go, I'll go get fub it. I'll just go get chicken. <laughs> and um, she got chicken and then she kind of grew from there and now she eats the regular pho with no issues. Hmm.
but she still likes the chicken pho. That's probably the only word that she knows how to say in Vietnamese. Say it. Pho oh, ga. <laughs> We mm. like bumbo. Bumbo, right? Yeah. Mmm. But for those of you that don't know what bumbo is, it's basically a spicy beef noodles. Mm, it's harder to explain. Um, it's pretty much a lot of flavor, like a lot of chili flavor, kind of um, lemongrass. lemongrass, a lot of herbal flavors, but it's heavy, it's strong, it's very red. It usually uses a thick round noodle. Um, comes with a lot of different meats, so think of a spicier, more meaty, um, heavy, like more herbal broth. Pho. So it's pho, but then meet the spicy, herbal, strong flavor. Because pho itself is kind of like a, not, I can't say it's bland, but it's kind of very basic. Mm. A dish I highly, 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 highly recommend you get. At least try once. But as I, I say in all my videos, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for enjoying your food. Make sure, hopefully, you enjoyed whatever you're eating. Thank you for spending the time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. It does help me out, and I do read all your comments. I try to get back to you as much as you can. The more meaty your comment is, the more meaty my response is. But until our next food adventure, keep eating.